Thanks for joining me for another great episode of Lunch with Doug. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper, and thank you for spending your lunch time with me. Today, we are going to be talking about how to live in Nevada, Missouri, semicolon, parks. So we're going to talk about that. Yeah, how to live in Nevada, Missouri, parks, today. It's what you need to know about. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. Today's episode of Lunch with Doug is being made possible by the Delaney Vineyard and Winery at 1200 South Main in Nevada, Missouri, the Verco Apparel at 112 North Cedar Street, Tuxedos Linden Letterman Coats in Nevada, Missouri, the Inn and Outlet at 205 West 54 Highway in El Dorado Springs, Missouri, the Bulldog Brew at 109 East U.S. Highway 54 in El Dorado Springs, Missouri, the Tobacco Shack. 2505 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. The Cash and Dash West, 1502 West Austin in Nevada, Missouri. And the Cash and Dash East at 1518 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. The Welch's Treasure Bin at 1413 West Austin in Nevada, Missouri. Open 9 to 6 every day and Friday, except for Friday, 9 to 3. Vernon County Movers at 417 549 6019. Randy Bland Used Cars at 123 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. Curtis & Sons Realty at curtisandsonsrealty.com or 667-7868. Bobby Ogle at Interior Motives. The Essentially Fit and doTERRA Wellness. All located at 119 North Main Street in Nevada, Missouri. Casa Azteca. Mexican Restaurant, 903 East Subway Boulevard in Nevada, Missouri. The Bell's Boutique and the 2nd Edition Shop at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Harry Frog Graphics, 150 North Commercial Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Brick Wall Bistro, 127 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Gamers Fusion, 617 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Or call them at 417-667-2986. Nana Marie's 121 and a half North Main in Nevada, Missouri. The Ellis Furniture Company, celebrating 100 years. Find them on Facebook or at 201 East Walnut in Nevada, Missouri. The Woodshed Music, 129 North Main Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Art Shop, 104 East Cherry Street or andrewdmcnair.com. Art Shop located in Nevada, Missouri. The Zone Nutrition at 14180 East US Highway 54 on the west side of Nevada, Missouri. JNR Home Store, 118 West Walnut on the Nevada Square. The Northern Pecan Growers at 3011 East Austin or at mopecans.com, 417-667-3501, also located in Nevada, Missouri. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper. We're going to have a great show. Thank you for spending your lunchtime with me. This is Deanna at the Second Edition Shop at 500 East Cherry Street here in Nevada. I want to invite all of you listeners out there to our Parking Lot Party Fall Festival that's going to be held on September 24th. That is a Saturday and it will start at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. that evening. We will have games and prizes and food trucks and music entertainment and all kinds of great things. Um, for everyone to enjoy here on our parking lot and we will have in-store sales and drawings going on as well that day. Located at 109 East Highway 54, El Dorado Springs, Missouri. Stop on in to the Bulldog Brew. More than just great coffee. Hi, this is Rebecca from the Brick Wall Bistro here at 127 East Cherry Street. I'd like to invite you to come down and try our daily lunch specials. On Monday, we have our chicken salad sandwich or our jalapeno chicken salad sandwich. Tuesdays is our turkey club sandwich. Wednesdays are our Reuben or our turkey Reuben, which is a Rachel. Thursdays is our meatball sub. And Fridays are our Phillies. 
And then we are open from 11 to 3, Monday through Friday. And Thursdays, we are now open from 5 to 8 for dinner, and the special will be changing weekly. We hope to see you soon. All right, folks, I'm going to get to the chase. Now, I said before that how to live in Nevada, and it is how to live in Nevada, but this is really about life in Nevada. So the actual title of this episode is called Life in Nevada, Missouri, semicolon, and our theme today, our emphasis is on parks today. So let's talk about that very thing, parks in Nevada, Missouri. What do you know about parks in Nevada, Missouri? If you live in Nevada, Missouri, um, parks are definitely a big part of the town because, well, quite frankly, there's lots of them. I'm going to see what the internet says, as I always like to do that. Parks, Nevada, Missouri, what comes up when we hit Google is immediately the Isaac Walton Park and Soccer Fields um, is in bold print on here. Parks and Recreation, City of Nevada, the NevadaMo.gov website forward slash departments forward slash parks hyphen and hyphen recreation we're going to that site right now we're going to read about it of course i know a lot about parks in nevada because i live in nevada and i play in those parks frequently there's a good picture right there of the radio springs lake is what uh in this first picture i'm seeing and i want to read this to you nevada's park system consists of 10 parks an 18-hole championship golf course, skate park, aquatic center, and the city, county, community center. The community is fortunate to have such an extensive parks and recreation system. And I agree with that 100%. There are lots of parks in Nevada now. They have sold off a few of them, but I don't even think, yeah, Postal Weights listed on here. Postal Weights Park's not there anymore. It's uh, had walking trails, and it was, it was kind of uh, lots of, lots of weeds and so it was good that they probably downsized so anyway that's not there so actually we're going to take that 10 parks now um nine parks at least there might be a couple others that they've downsized but anyway they still got a lot of parks the point is here if you're in nevada there's honestly there's not a whole lot to do i mean there are there's things that are happening but sometimes you just find yourself sitting around and you're like what the heck can I do? And you can actually go and enjoy the parks. The parks are there and you're like, Oh, well, it's a nice day. I'll go enjoy the park. There's lots of, uh, lots of space to, to do that. There's the little horseshoe park right across the street from the, uh, community center. Not a lot of people even know what that is. There's just a little area there. There's a park bench and there's a little horseshoe thing. You can throw some horseshoes, pass the time, have a picnic there, hang out, watch the cars go by, whatever. Um, it's exciting. My personal favorite uh, escape is to myself and the kids go down there. We go to the Isaac Walton Park because it, it's fantastic. It's got the longest walking trail, a nice lake. It's gorgeous at nighttime, wonderful. After dark, they've got nice little lights, very mood lighting. Um, uh, it's just a nice park. Got some uh, good... Um, small playground so the kids can play small not nothing nothing too big but nice a uh, couple uh, bridges lots of scenery you can go boating there don't think you can have a motor but you can go boating there you can go fishing there and like i said they've got the extended walking trail and it's just a real real nice park also the again the pictured one up here is the radio springs one that has a really awesome playground up on the hill and then down at the bottom of the hill there's a lake you can walk around it. It's the walking trails, not as, not as um, windy as elaborate. I don't think it's as as scenic as as the Isaac Walton, but uh, it's a very scenic park. They have a neat little island you can go out on a bridge. So it's it's cool all the same. Great place to take a picnic. I took a picnic there, and it was nice. So you know, anyway, there's lots of parks. You're gonna experience these parks. Davis Park is the one that you can park your rv in it's the only park that's open all night like i said the horseshoe park you can do horseshoes there Erp park is on the corner of austin and ash and that's the one that has the lion bench there you see and the train the caboose and it's it's cool i go hang out there sometimes a lot and just watch the 
the kid watch the cars go by and stuff uh again radio springs park we talked about that spring street park is awesome also it's kind of more like i always do birthday parties there because there's this nice like up on the hill there's a nice uh shelter house and kind of overlooks everything and they've got a really good playground there too um twin lakes park is of course where the baseball fields are and the the golf course which is awesome if you're you know into that stuff uh we got a great golf course yeah, it's cool um and then the swimming pool is currently under construction or under repair but uh but it'll be back i'm sure the the aquatic center and that's right there with the isaac walton park um all that and marmaduke park let's talk about that that one's out kind of out by the behind the crowder college and that's a really lots of ground to walk around in and uh there's a little outdoor amphitheater and there's actually a really an indoor shelter house thing that you can rent and have parties and things at or wedding receptions, whatever. So it, it's, it's cool. A lot, a lot going on there and some nice outdoor shelter houses as well. And always, they're always doing festivities out there. Stuff's always happening. Lots of fun. So there you go. So basically life in Nevada consists of, awesome parks folks so there you go one of the things about life in nevada enjoying the parks and i didn't touch on the community center but they have video games in there and uh pool table two basketball courts a walking area you can walk around in. they've got rooms you can rent out for birthday parties or um little things i've even done some little little concerts in there and just been fun we when music on the square got rained out we had it in there a few times and it was awesome so good place and uh yeah check them out the the um physical address for the parks info is at 200 north ash street which is the community center and it is open monday through friday 6 a.m to 7 p.m you can email them at parks info at nevada mo.gov or you can call them at 417-448-5110 That's today's episode, folks. Thanks for being here with me on Lunch with Doug. Thanks for spending your lunchtime with me. Today's episode of Lunch with Doug is being made possible by the Delaney Vineyard and Winery at 1200 South Main in Nevada, Missouri, the Verco Apparel at 112 North Cedar Street, Tuxedos and Letterman Coats in Nevada, Missouri, the Inn and Outlet at 205 West 54 Highway in El Dorado Springs, Missouri, the Bulldog Brew at 109 East U.S. Highway 54 in El Dorado Springs, Missouri, the Tobacco Shack, 2505 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. The Cash and Dash West, 1502 West Austin in Nevada, Missouri. And the Cash and Dash East at 1518 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. The Welch's Treasure Bin at 1413 West Austin in Nevada, Missouri. Open 9 to 6 every day and Friday, except for Friday, 9 to 3. Vernon County Movers at 417-549-6019. Randy Bland Used Cars at 123 East Austin in Nevada, Missouri. Curtis & Sons Realty at curtisandsonsrealty.com or 667-7868. Bobby Ogle at Interior Motives. The Essentially Fit and doTERRA Wellness. All located at 119 North Main Street in Nevada, Missouri. Casa Azteca. Mexican Restaurant, 903 East Subway Boulevard in Nevada, Missouri. The Bell's Boutique and the Second Edition Shop at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Harry Frog Graphics, 150 North Commercial Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Brick Wall Bistro, 127 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Gamers Fusion, 617 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Or call them at 417-667-2986. Nana Marie's 121 and a half North Main in Nevada, Missouri. The Ellis Furniture Company, celebrating 100 years. Find them on Facebook or at 201 East Walnut in Nevada, Missouri. The Woodshed Music, 129 North Main Street in Nevada, Missouri. The Art Shop, 104 East Cherry Street or andrewdmcnair.com. Art Shop located in Nevada, Missouri. His own nutrition at 14180 East US Highway 54 on the west side of Nevada, Missouri. JR Home Store, 118 West Walnut on the Nevada Square. The Northern Pecan Growers at 3011 East Austin or at mopecans.com, 417-667-3501, also located in Nevada, Missouri.